It is tropical feeling, that's for sure, Brian. We are live once again at the Marion Farmer's Market that's in full swing this morning. And I've been saying, what a perfect place to test this week's Does It Work Wednesday product. This is the Insta Peel. And as you can see right here, you peel your vegetables and then the scraps or the peels, whatever you like to call them, go right into this container and you dump it out. However, is this blade really all that sharp and does it work? It says it's great for cucumbers, potatoes, and zucchini, which we have plenty of around here. And she's not kidding. Jeannie Brumlevy, her family and workers, plant 55 acres of fresh produce on their farm in Cobden. During the summer, they sell it at five local farmer's markets. So she knows a thing or two about peeling vegetables and lots of them. I do like how it collects the peelings very well. This $5 gadget promises you'll peel without the mess thanks to this built-in chamber. We first try it on a large yeah, cucumber. Maybe just a little bit more force than a regular peeler. So it's maybe not as sharp as a regular peeler, you think? Possibly. To see, we try it on a potato. This will be great to see if it can get around some of the curves better. Mm -hmm. And it can't. Jeannie says she'd use her regular peeler on smaller rounded produce like potatoes. Now it's also time to dump the peels. The concept is very nice. Yep, you could easily dump this into a wastebasket or garbage disposal with less mess than normal. And once again, the Insta Peel does a good job on large produce like squash. However, as we continue, Jeannie notices the handle gets a little flimsy. The durability, it's still a concern. For $5, we're betting there's a cheap blade on here you'll eventually have to replace. Right in the middle, right in the middle. I'll keep my other vegetable peeler on standby. The Insta Peel works, but for how long is still a mystery. It does create less mess, though, as promised. The $5 kitchen gadget peels back a satisfactory C-plus on this does-it-work test. And if you're interested, I got the Insta Peel at Dollar General in Benton, Missouri. And Jim, as I'm looking at it this morning, I did a quick cleanup job on it, and some of the peel still remains. So, I don't know, it's just one of those that's just middle of the road. I think C-plus is a fair grade for it. But uh, meantime, I've got my eye on everything else that I see for sale here at the Marion Farmer's Market, including some baked goods. I know I should be focusing on the fresh produce, but man, the baked goods look good this morning, especially those pecan rolls. Now, that goes good with coffee, right? What are you going to do? Give that an A? <laughs> I think I would give that an A, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, Lauren, thanks. Does it work Wednesday? We